Alright. So, I want to give everybody just a real short um, reminder to everybody out there that may be falling into this cycle right now. For those of you that may be falling into your past, you're reliving past memories. You're picturing maybe alternatives that it could have gone down. You're wishing what you could have done then, what should have happened, what you wish could have happened, what you wanted, what you want to do. You know, I get a lot of us get caught in that, in the, in the, um, the old days, right? The girl who cheated on us, the friend of ours who died, the, um, the father that betrayed us, the, um, the sister who told us we weren't gonna be shit the um, I mean anything man the job you quit out on you know the people that you let down people that let you down you know your past there is a lot you know there may be some of us right now and some of y'all that may be getting I I know I'm suffering a bit of this those of y'all that may be getting caught in the past those of you that may be getting caught in your old memories wishing that it would have been something else or maybe you know exactly what it is but then you start living in that past and you start recreating it but you start recreating your own version of what you wanted to happen what you wish could have happened now that you know now that you know you wish you could you start reliving memories and you start trying to control the variables you start trying to take control of that situation because you didn't then a lot of that comes from the sense of powerlessness we have now because of what we couldn't do in that situation then. A lot of that reason on why we recreate those past memories is because we're trying to gain power back. We're trying to gain our power back from what happened in the past. Whatever happened in the past, we're all just like, fuck, you know, we try and go back and relive those memories and create a position of power. Like how many times have you created a past memory and genuinely liked it? when you made yourself powerless. You don't do it, right? Humans need to feel power. We need that. It, you know, at least I know I do. We need power. I need power for a fact. You know, we need, I need a power, uh, I need a sense of grounding and um, position within myself. And whenever I feel my past has put me in a position of powerlessness, that's when I, that's when I catch myself sometimes going back into the past, wishing I could have changed it, wishing I could have done different. Like, I know what it is and I know what's now, but I got, I fall into that trap of playing it out of my own version where I could have told that bitch off, where I could have fucked old boy up, where I could have done all this shit. And, I, and you know what? I got to tell to y'all, stop fighting for power that, stop fighting for power in time that you don't have anymore. Stop battling for the power that doesn't that for, stop battling for the opportunity to have power in a moment that doesn't even belong to you anymore. That, that doesn't even exist anymore. That isn't even real time. And some of us get caught up with this in our future as well, too. That's a little addition. Some of us go into the future with future circumstances that could happen, and we regain our power then because it's coming to us, right? Some of us go to the past, some of us go to the future, and everyone forgets that we have right now because we get tunnel vision. We have right now. The, you got to reclaim your power now. You don't necessarily have to go and get revenge. You don't have to go and fuck nobody up. You don't have to go and reprove yourself. All you need to do is recognize this. Your power comes in what you do right now. The Stop fighting for power in time that you don't have anymore and time that you don't even know is yours. Stop fighting for that. Stop fighting in those circumstances. Stop resisting and stop attacking memories. You know? Those, that past is the past, right? And when I say that, I don't mean just get over it. No. I mean acknowledge it for what it is. Accept that you were powerless at that point. And that all you can do, and that for that time, remember, your mentality is not as wise it is as it is now. So how the hell could you have gone back? How the hell could you have known that you should have done that in the time that that happened? Think about this. That event is the reason you're as wise as you are right now. That event, that past is the reason you're able to think the way you do now about that past. 
It's the reason you're able to go back and think I should have told that bitch off because of what you know now. It's the reason you can go. It's the reason you're wise enough now to say these things. To tell yourself these things. I know that might sound weird to some people, but I'm serious. It's because of what happened then. And what it was then. And who you were then. That it played out that way. You were powerless at one point. But right now is all you got, dude. You can't fight for what happened then. You got to fight for right now. And right now only. That's it. That is all you're going to have. So what can you do now to claim your power? To claim your masculinity. Your divine masculinity. Your divine femininity. What are you going to do, ladies and gentlemen? What can you do now? Can you go on NoFap? Can you commit yourself to something? Can you go to the gym? Can you gain power in a way that doesn't involve you proving something to people and time that doesn't belong to you anymore? That you don't live in anymore? That you don't have anymore? Listen, I know that makes you feel a little more powerlessness when I tell you that it's not yours anymore, but it's what you need to know. And what I want you to know is this. The experiences that make you powerless, right? The experiences that put us in that position, it is up to us to determine how we're gonna claim our power back. And trying to claim our power back, trying to play our life in a time that doesn't exist anymore, we are simply wasting every second on the clock that we have because we could die. It's a reality check for you guys. It's a reality check for myself. You know? What happened then is what happened then, you know? I mean, really, I, I you can only do so much. Right, right now, the power of now. What can you manifest? What can you create? What can you do? Who can you become? Who will you become? And will that person serve what you are now? Will that person serve the future you have aimed for yourself? Will that person serve what you want to do in life? Or will it only see or will it only exist out of the ego, out of defense, out of an attempt to gain something that only gives you temporary enjoyment? You know? You're looking for power, yes. So what can you do now that's gonna reclaim power? Don't fall into the trap of revenge. Don't fall into the trap of I need to get them back. You don't need to get revenge, you don't need any of that. What you need to do. Right? Is one of two things. I'm going to recommend two, but if you want one, it might help. One is to gain your power back from this person by essentially finding what power you have over them. Right? Ellie Holst did a video about this, owning her with orgasms, right? Dude was after power. He wanted power. So if he wanted power, he found how he could have power with that person. That was through sex. That was through orgasms. Right? He evoked a vis... He, and not only... Not orgasm... And orgasm isn't necessarily the only thing you have to do. But just getting some sort of visceral response from them is going to claim it for you. Having the power to evoke their visceral responses, that's going to make you feel power. But are you doing it You know, because you want revenge, you know, all revenge does is it continues to snowball hate and hate is going to snowball and snowball and snowball all, all on its own until you can decide to number two, find forgiveness and let go. And I know forgiveness can be hard. I'm, I'm, I'm drastically in a position where I hate somebody right now. And I'm trying to find forgiveness, but it is, it is, it's almost like, how do you forgive this person? You know, how, how do I, like, how can I even say I'm okay with you after what you did, you know? How can I be okay with that? But, you know, because I felt, I'm feeling like this sometimes, you know? But it's, it's within the strength that we find ourselves letting go of that and finding power within ourselves finding the truth within ourselves and finding the power within ourselves to continue for ourselves, to continue for our future. The past is the past. You know? We have to find a way to understand that this is over. 
and that we have an opportunity to reclaim what we are missing right now. Instead of living there, instead of living over there, in the past or future, live in the now. Live in the present. Do what you can now and make that shit work. Alright? Bless up. Talk to y'all next time.